Okay, this uh, this video goes out to uh, lid motor. Uh, lid motor, I I found something. Um, it's just kind of a neat effect. It's not really a huge deal, but it was kind of neat. Um, the that little circuit that you picked up, I picked up several of these as well, uh, as you know, uh, last year, and uh, that take the twelve or I'm sorry, take the uh, six volts and we'll bump it up to AC to run um, a light <clears throat> well I use this I don't you don't need 12 volts but I I have a 12 volt AA battery pack here and again you can run it on six but here's a cool effect I was just playing with this and I was taking this light now this is one of those um, Chinese just a Chinese uh, LED bulb that you can get off eBay okay now watch this. See that? It's not even screwed in. It's already lighting the the LEDs. So you got a wireless effect going on right here. I'm not touching I'm not touching the metal at all. See? Kind of neat. I but I know uh, you're into the sex and the wireless uh, electricity, like with Tesla's stuff. But I thought that was a cool effect. I just stumbled on that by accident. This is just one of those LED bulbs from China. It's 110 volt. It's got I forget. It's like 48 LEDs or something in it, but. Um, I thought that was so cool because it starts lighting up when you get it close to the connection. See that? And I'm not touching it. Very cool. So anyway, that was off that little, uh, I guess a little inverter there. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And, um... That might be something you might want to check out too, lid motor. I mean, if it'll do it with this, that means it, it certainly wouldn't take much of a coil if it'll transfer that wirelessly without a coil. With a coil, I think it would be even better and maybe even travel further. But anyway, that was my observation, and, uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching.